Hey beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with another prayer card reading on what are their current thoughts, feelings and intentions towards you. So before I start the reading, before I introduce you to the piles, let me add that I have a second channel named White Lady Insight where I post readings related to your financial journey as well as your spiritual journey. So if you're interested in such content, you can check it out. The link is available in the description box or in the comment section. I'm also open for personal readings and chakra cleansings. If you wish to book a reading or cleansing with me, message me on my email. You can also message me on Instagram. Both my Instagram and email ID are available in the description box or in the comment section. And finally, the timestamps to your reading are available again in the description box or in the comment section. So for today's reading, we have three piles. For the first pile, we have the Knight of Cups. The second pile we have the Wheel of Fortune. And finally for the third pile we have the Knight of Pentacles. Now I need you guys to close your eyes, take a deep breath and feel whichever crystal, sorry, whichever card or pile calls out to you the most. And that will be your reading. Hey, pile one, those of you who chose the Knight of Cups, this is your reading. So let's see what your person's current thoughts, feelings, and intentions towards you. So, okay, your person intends to confess their feelings. That's what I'm getting directly with the Knight of Cups. And it's from a person of interest, someone you're already interested in. Or maybe it could be someone new as well, okay? Like someone that is, that hasn't been, maybe you didn't actually, ex like you've never actually thought of them in that way, but, you know, they might give you a surprise by telling you how they feel, by telling you how they think about you, okay? Like maybe you got a secret admirer, okay, definitely. So I can see a deep conversation coming forward, okay? Like, I can see that this person, okay? Like, the person that you're asking about, they intend to have a deep conversation with you. They just want to sit down and vibe with you, get to know you better, and also discuss where you guys stand in this connection, what's going on, and what's the future, basically. Okay? It's like you're dealing with a person who relies on their emotions okay so who follows their heart which is a good thing okay that's like crucial for any anyone out there okay so they make their decisions okay they take actions in regards to their emotions that's what i'm getting here that's the type of person you're dealing with so you know this is just like a specific detail about your person's personality it doesn't have to resonate this would only resonate for some of you guys okay so definitely there's a lot of chemistry between the two of you and this person can deny it it's undeniable it's simply undeniable and definitely your person wishes to urge a light on their vision on your vision and definitely get something like clear here i would say yeah so definitely here i see that no matter what you do like if you reject this person or if you accept this person you will be you'll be emotionally emotionally supported throughout the process that's where your spirit guides and angels are coming through with their messages so just receive the love that's coming your way because this person is definitely in love with you they can't stop thinking about you you're irresistible in their eyes
We have the Five of Cups, we have Justice, Queen of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. Okay, wow. Now the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor. Now, with the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, there's no denying that this person sees a future with you. They intend, intend to have something more with you, like something. Not just like, you know, being in a relationship. Like, obviously they want to be in a relationship, but then they have it all thought out. Okay, they have it all planned out. Where you guys have a family, where you guys might get married, okay? This, this person sees you as marriage material, which is why they're so serious about taking a move forward. They're scared of losing you. They're scared of hurting you. Maybe in the past, they might have hurt you. So they're coming forward with an apology. And there's this fear of losing you, like a big fear of losing you with the Five of Cups. And there's law involved here as well now. This uh, justice card right here seems like, seems to indicate that this person needs to bring in light to a certain situation such as maybe being honest about something that they've been hiding from you or maybe you know it's being honest in general about what's going on and maybe if they might have been dishonest with you in the past they wish to clear those doubts out clear those complications and be on a balanced and equal level with you like have this balance restore the balance of the connection as you're someone who is very special to them with the Queen of Pentacles, regardless of your gender, this person sees you as someone who's very nurturing, caring, down to earth, understanding. You are a leader in yourselves and no one can match your energy. No one can match your energy. You would make the perfect wife or husband, okay? And with the Ace of Cups, Okay, now with the Ace of Cups here, this person is definitely in love with you. Like, they're crazy mad in love with you. That's why we have the Ace of Cups here. And they're ready to do anything that you suggest. They don't care. Even if you reject them, even if you walk away from them, they would happily walk away because your happiness is their happiness. That's what I'm seeing. This person has a desire to create with you. And this is like a refreshing opportunity, this connection, which is full of emotional expression and fulfillment. They don't want to lose this. This is like one in a lifetime sort of an opportunity that a person came through with you now with the justice card here i don't know what happened between you guys with the five of cups if something did happen this person wishes to discuss it and clear it out clear out all those doubts and be on equal terms i would say yeah So I can see your person being fair about something. So basically their actions had some consequences. Every action has its own consequence. So maybe there are some of their actions did have some negative or positive consequences and they wish to like just balance them out. To take accountability for everything that they did. Okay, so definitely this person wishes to make a big impact with you and in your life. So that's that. I hope this resonated with you guys. If this didn't resonate, you're free to check out the past in this reading or check out more videos on my channel. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care, you guys. Bye bye. Have a good day and be safe. Hey, pile two, those of you who chose the Wheel of Fortune, this is your reading. 
So let's see what your person's current intentions, thoughts, and feelings towards you. All right, so I'm getting this change here, like changes taking place in your connection. And you can't control it. Basically, your person is trying to control the, the process, the flow of your connection or of your relationship, if you guys are committed. Okay. So... There's this new phase entering your life, entering this connection, and your person is unable to accept that. Okay, now whatever it may be, just take whatever resonates in your situation. This person wishes to talk about it, okay? Talk about maybe the cycle that you guys are in, to change it, okay? To maybe do something, maybe just do something new, or maybe this is not working out for some of you guys, and you guys just wish to, like, you know, take a break. Okay, that's maybe your energy and this person wishes to talk it out and they just want to make it work. Maybe that could be the case. Or maybe you are the one who wants to make it work and this person is constantly trying to like move, like just, you know, move away for some time and find themselves, okay? So I can see this person feels like things are out of control and basically they don't have a choice okay they don't have a choice they can either choose to complain or to adapt so this uncertainty is annoying your person irritating your person and this unknown vibe okay about the future being unknown about not knowing what the future is is getting the best of them it's intimidating for your person so Definitely there, you guys did have some good times and and it's impossible to not have bad times as well. Like that's what makes a relationship strong, having to go through both together, right? And so this person needs to actually have more confidence and trust the process that being excessively impatient i would say so let's get some more cards to see what else are they feeling thinking about this connection but definitely you are their lucky charm they don't want to lose you for sure they've never come across such a great person like you they appreciate your presence they have gratitude for the connection and they see you as their destiny they feel like this connection is destined to take place too you guys are destined to end up together that's what a person thinks and maybe that's why they're forcing it too much they're actually doing a little too much for the connection and it's maybe un like getting you to feel uncomfortable or it could be the other way around okay take whatever resonates in your situation okay Wow, we have two aces here. And we also have the Eight of Cups. We have the King of Cups. So this person does have feelings for you. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And we have the Five of Wands. Alright. So. First of all, with the Eight of Cups. I can see that some one of you. Okay, one of you is you or your person. It's trying to move on from this connection, like I just said, like I just described, like a few minutes ago, how someone is trying to move on and someone is trying to restrain, okay, someone is trying to not, like to make this work, holding on to the connection and basically they should just surrender, okay, just surrender to the process because everything is for the greater good that is taking place here. So I, it's either you or your person. Now take whatever is needs in your situation. I can also see some complications taking place. This person is just holding on to dual life. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Now with this five of wands right here. I can see that maybe you guys did have some... Are not agreeing on similar terms. And there's been a lot of competition... Or maybe ego problems going on, complications, so you guys had some fights and you guys are just not tuning in. Like, it's just really hard for you guys to think at the same level anymore like like you guys were before. You 
wish that we could go back and what went wrong such questions are arising in their heads okay as well as yours so just take whatever resonates in the situation and maybe there's there might be a third party situation involved for some of you guys just take whatever resonates now that third party situation could be a specific person it could also be friends or family members it could be finance work career so just take whatever resonates and what I'm also seeing here is that there is a lot of inner conflict here this person is fighting fighting back okay like fighting, fighting themselves back they're trying to keep themselves in check because if they actually like open up about what's going on in their heads it would just be chaos okay it'd be chaotic I, w I would say okay this person is going through a lot i don't know what what's going on but it's just like it's just very negative i would say i mean i'm getting tired here <laughs> okay but yeah with the ace of pentacles here this person wishes to and like have a new opportunity with you starting it all over again i would say and being honest okay having this clarity but what's going on about how you feel because there have been such misunderstandings in a connection which maybe made the connection toxic in a way and they just wish to like reset the connection i would say yeah but with the ace of pentacles here i can see finances being a big play in your connection but you know i can see abundance prosperity coming in financially from you know for you both And I see that maybe some of you guys manifested something particular in particular. So that's coming true for you guys. And this person sees you as like a gift from the universe because they did manifest a good partner and you are that partner. That's how they see you. That's how they feel. Maybe this person was just too focused on the materialistic things in life and they failed to understand you on a deeper level for some of you guys, which is why you guys just felt like okay I, I can't do this anymore i need to focus on myself i need someone who can treat me right and all of that and i completely understand that and this person just is not ready to accept that okay they're just not ready to accept what's you know like what like they're not they don't even know what they did wrong i would say like they're that like confused okay they're actually confused that's what i'm getting this connection is complicated guys now with the ace of swords like i just said this person wishes to talk it out just have this come just have this conversation with this breakthrough where they get their they get their answers and it's completely clear this connection where you guys stand it's completely clear okay like crystal clear so i hope that answered your question i hope this resonated with you guys if this didn't resonate you're free to check out the other piles in this reading or check out more videos on my channel i'm getting a little possessive vibes like this person might be a little like they might be obsessed with you okay and a possessive so just watch out for this person if you are really interested then maybe give them a chance and if you guys because many of you guys who are watching this have already moved on from your person or you're just you know wondering and you're just wondering what this person's up to so the majority of you that's what i'm getting here and yeah i'll see you guys soon take care you guys bye, -bye. have a good day and be safe hey pile three those of you who chose the knight of pentacles this is your reading so let's see what are your person's current thoughts feelings and intentions towards you huh Okay, so we have this dedicated energy coming through from your person. This person is thinking of the long term. They're not ready to settle for less. And they're ready to plod onward with patience and reliability. They just want you to trust them trust the process to be patient with them because they're still growing they're 
they're still in this process of, tr of transformation of being their best self so they are requesting you to cheer for them to wait for them or to just you know not actually actually wait but you know just be a little patient before they take this to the next level because you definitely are special to your person and they just they're just trying to be practical about this taking it seriously like looking at the long term looking at the future and taking this seriously in the present moment so that they have it all planned out and ready for execution like all of their maybe all of their finances in check or maybe when you guys do invest in something together or maybe if you guys do decide to have something together in the future you, he like he or she could your person could confidently step forward they want to feel confident in their skin that's what i'm getting because this person does have some insecurities they're anxious and they just wish to be more comfortable while dealing with you they want to be their best self for you and that's really sweet in my opinion day by day little by little they're building themselves up to be the person you want them to be like you know maybe you guys have described your dream person to this uh individual and they are just um you know ready to shape themselves in that way i would say like shape emotionally mentally and physically even for some of you guys they're hitting the gym <laughs> so there's no stopping they know what they want and they want you and they will not stop until they have you okay until they have your interest until they sat like until you're satisfied they won't stop like satisfied i mean you know emotionally so they i can see this noble and genuine intention coming forward from your person so you can trust this person this person is generally concerned about you and this connection We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, and we have the Sun and the Seven of Cups. Okay, so first of all, with the Nine of Swords, like I was talking about how this person does maybe have some insecurities, and we also have the Two of Swords. So this Two of sword ex a Swords of a like swords explain how your person might have been denying the connection okay in the past they were blinding themselves not accepting what was right in front of them and that had its own consequences that they had to face and it was worse it was worse than they thought i would say like maybe they thought that you know facing you facing the connection would if you actually saw the real them you would abandon them or you would leave them okay this person was really insecure about that and losing you was even worse i would say because they didn't make a move and maybe you guys you know stop considering this person for some of you guys okay just take whatever resonates in your situation so this person can like they, they didn't they couldn't sleep at night okay they were just very anxious all over the place overwhelmed okay and they still are overwhelmed. They don't think that they could ever be a match for you. So they're trying their best with the Knight of Pentacles to move forward. Because they see you as this Queen of Wands. Regardless of your gender, they see you as someone who's very attractive. You're like the most beautiful person they've laid eyes on. No one compares to you. You have this bold attitude where you're not scared of anything, of any challenge that is coming your way. That's really attractive because they see... This, you're like their idol, you're like their inspiration, I would say. Okay, you have all the qualities which they wish they have, which is why they've put you on a pedestal, which is why they are just admiring you so much. Okay, like it's not just that, they love every part of you. They see you as like a perfect individual, like you're perfect just the way you are. Okay, you're flawless, okay, in their eyes, that's what I'm getting. And you're like this gem right here pile three you are a gem you give them happiness they feel warm inside whenever they see you okay they might get a bit anxious 
Okay, they might get a bit anxious or nervous around you. Okay, it's just that because they feel really this intensity, the intensity of the connection. They're just getting used to it, so give them some time, alright? And yeah, like, let me tell you that this person wants, wants you so bad, okay? Like, seriously. They get positive vibes from the connection. And I can see abundance here on a huge scale. Like, we have the Sun and the Ace of Pentacles here with the Queen of Wands. I mean, it all indicates to abundance, prosperity. So if this person is struggling in their finances, they would receive uh, maybe a promotion or a raise or maybe, you know, they might get more profit out of their business. I'm really getting those vibes here. I mean, you're like the sun. They see you as the sun energy with the Queen of Wands. You're full of light. You radiate positive vibes and you're simple, okay? It's like you're so... The simplicity that you portray is just so beautiful in their eyes. Like, they notice every small detail about you. Okay? And they just love looking at it. They love, like, they love how you look, basically. That's also what I'm getting. And they also love your personality. And they're just scared because there's a lot of competition here. You have a lot of options secret admirers they know about it and that's also one of the reasons why they're just like really scared they don't know if they'll succeed or not so they're they're just in this race okay they're in this race of getting noticed by you i guess but like maybe they don't know that you you've already noticed them which is why you're here today in this reading asking about them but whatever like this person really wants to capture your attention and they want to be able to satisfy, like, just, you know, make you happy. Make you happy and just, you know, fulfilling every one of your wishes. Like, preserving that smile on your face. They love your smile. Okay, they love your smile. Bye, okay. Alright, so that's what I'm getting for you guys today. I hope this resonated and I hope you enjoyed this reading. If this didn't resonate, you're free to check out the other piles in the reading or check out more videos on my channel. I'll see you guys soon. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye. Have a good day and be safe.